Well, this is pretty cool here. What about a 1967 Dodge Cornet convertible? This is a RT car with a date code correct 440. Got power steering, does not have power brakes. Very clean up under the hood. Documents in the passenger seat, we'll get to that. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing shipping is available. And throughout this test drive, I'll be looking for flaws. That's why I do them. Dual exhaust out the back. So hit subscribe, share. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. So you got the yellow paint job. You've got black interior. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? This in the seat next to us is important as well. You got documents, you got sheets place we will keep this with the car i will be putting this in the office after the video got specs which is nice if we get any information about the cars i like to uh put it on the channel here also put it in our detailed pictures coming across the dash I'll show you the mileage hard to stand behind the mileage in a 67 model let's warm it up Need to let her warm up. She's cold right now. Man, it's nice and cushiony. Interior looks wonderful. Got a bag back there full of goodies. Cover for the top. Look at the inside of the top here. We're gonna be putting it down in a second. Okay. So coming across the dash, we got wipers, they work. Then you got a radio and it's on and it's not working. We got a blower motor, it's kicking on. And did you place your bets on the horn? It does work. Let's walk around and look at the top real quick. You can see what shape it is in. Back one is in good shape up over the top get it this side little rip here got a tear here as well up here in the front I don't know what happened on this side let's watch that top drop down it's the first time I've tried this of course this is the first time I'm getting to know the car this is how I do the videos Let's see here. Uh, remove all articles, including the. Ooh, look at that. Before messing with the top, it is out of there. Okay. <laughs> Let's take this one down. I haven't seen that sticker in one of these in a long time. All right, top. Woo! That thing just took off. So the top there goes down fast. Coming around. Let's try this. Comes down fast. And this one, a little sticky on the side. It needs to be greased up. All right, guys, I'm going to take this paperwork inside before anything happens. Let's take off. All right, I wanted to put the top boot over the convertible in the back there. Let's get our seat belts on. Yeah, we might need some gas, so we're going to head to the gas station. The car is good and warm. I probably had it running at least 10 minutes. The temperature gauge has not moved, so let's we'll say the temperature gauge does not work. Brakes. We stop in. Okay, let's roll. Should have waited. <laughs> Where we go?
dash, and it is working correctly. We're good. The only thing I see is the temp gauge isn't doing anything. The gas gauge is buried on the E. We may be almost out. We're gonna find out here in just a second. I still can't believe we're in February and it's 60 degrees outside. I'm riding around in a convertible. And from what I hear, next week is going to be even nicer with 70 degree weather. All oh, that poor Silverado's got white smoke coming out of it. You can smell it too. Alright, here we go. Pulling in here, $20 worth of fuel. I'll be back in just a moment. I think our gas cap is in the back. I honestly don't remember. Go through so many cars. They're usually all over the place. Let's try this side. Okay. This part looks sweet. Sitting up here at the gas station. I got uh, about five and a half gallons worth of fuel in the ride here. And of course it's here on the side. I kind of had a feeling it was right here. I'll grab a few of these. Just remembering exactly where all the gas gaps are is uh, something you don't really think about. Coming up in here. Gas gauge, turn the key. Look, it's working. <laughs> Heck yeah, we was almost out of gas though. All right. I didn't shut my door all the way. Let's roll out.
Okay, I just did the walk around video here in the parking lot. Let's roll out. I had multiple people stop. Lady stopped, believe it or not, and they were like, man, I really like that car. That should have been recording because they're pulling out right there. I was thinking that. I was like, hey. But we're heading back to the lot now. Uh, picking out the flaws. It's coming up. That'll be after the drive back. So we're going to head on out of here. I get, got to hide behind the church. You know, I'm always mixing it up. Trying to pick different spots. I'll tell you what, the temperature is dropping fast. Looks like we've got some clouds moving in too, so. I'm gonna get on back. more van come on yeah that's close to five o'clock there's a lot of traffic out right now Nice and quiet, she's smooth. You know that left pull that we had, it's almost gone. It's not even pulling at all. It was a very slight left pull. It's not even there right now. Okay, we'll turn on this road here. And I already know if I don't rock the tires at least once, somebody will say something in the comments. So, police and everything up there. Hopefully they don't do nothing. Oh. <laughs> she kicked out a little bit. Bumping the road here. It's pretty smooth over that bump. This thing is awesome. Just a boat floating down the road. And it's cold. <laughs> We're right around the corner from the car a lot now. I tell you what, the cops have been hot today. I've seen them just about on every corner. We're pulling back into the car a lot. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stick around. Picking out the flaws is coming up next. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna walk around this ride and look for flaws. If I see them, you'll know about them. Detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available. Coming down on the lower portion here. Front bumper is not in bad shape. It's pretty good. Little scuffs on the edge here. That stuff should come out. Across the grill. Looks pretty good. Little dings up here in your trim spots there on the edge down this lower portion up and over a little scuffs there should wipe off same with this right here it's just on top of the paint little chips there those have been touched up bubbles in the bottom corner of this door the scratch there scuff should come off chip at the bottom chip in the edge of the door 
little bubbles here in the corner. Cut over. Little chips there. On the side here, you got some spots that have been touched up. So here and here. And then come back your midsection. There. Door handle looks pretty good, nice and clean. Up at the top here. Sorry about the wind, it just all of a sudden got really windy for us. And it's kind of cold. <laughs> Front windshield on this one, little chip there in the middle. Trim looks good around it up top. Scratch. Vent window looks good. Seal looks good. Some dirt back here needs to be wiped off. Looking around the back, tail lights are in good shape. A little bit of pitting there on your chrome. The seal in the trunk's not bad in that jam. A little cracks there. Down in your trunk. The mat here is kind of torn. I'm kind of scared to lift it up. I want to show you underneath, but I don't want to tear it all up. There we go. So we got a little bit of moisture up under here. But it looks fairly solid. Definitely got some water. Looking up in this. Good jack. Get around on the trunk lid. chip on the edge. So trunk lid looks good all the way around. Let me down with it. Yeah, tag got moved. Boom. Trunk lid's more than less dirty, but I don't see any chips. up some dust down this side a little spot in the corner little bubbles there a couple bubbles in the corner of the door here up front small stuff there section. There's a dent here and here. Also one there. Little chips. A little bit of pitting on the chrome there. Touch up mark here. I got a chip. Door handle looks good. A little bit of pitting on your mirror. Some dust over the fender here. Front windshield on this side looks good too. I don't really see anything. The seal's okay. Up top. Right, that stuff can be wiped off. It's from the seal. Looking at your interior now. Door panel on this one is in great shape. A little bit of pitting on your door handle. Get around in your jam. Touch up mark there. 
seat looks pretty good, a little wrinkly, if anything. Back seat is huge. Tons of room. Okay. <laughs> Old horn works. Little spots on the mirror there. Up top, a little bit of pitting on your chrome on the inside. Starts up good. And the motor's nice and quiet. It stayed pretty cool the whole test drive. on down with your hood shuts good we top off the radiator so whatever excess is in here overflows on the ground it's not overheating or anything but that is there so I know something will be said about it it's a little dirt all right guys i'm getting out of here it's freezing windy and we're going back to the lot we're uh probably not going to do any more test drives today being it's five o'clock but i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit subscribe and share there's detailed pictures financing and shipping on our website and of course i'll be putting out new rides every monday thanks guys i'll see you later